Alright, so this is a tutorial for Runway 00 Agent 34 in wide using the 2RTAP strategy. The existing tutorial by Fletcher uses full, so I figured I would just uh, redo this real quick with some of the visual cues that I used um, in wide rather than in full. So to start this off, you're going to just play. Um, like normal, try and do the beginning as well as possible. Try and get as good of huts as possible, um, because you don't want to lose 34 to a, a, a crappy hut. So if um, do you have a, a bad start, I would just restart. Um, you're going to start priming your first grenade right when you reach about this line. Um, You'll see this line, if it extends outward, when you pass where it would be, that's when you're about to start priming your grenade, so somewhere around here. You're going to take a straight line to this corner, and if you're on this angle, you should be able to throw the grenade like a couple frames after you pass it, and it should just go at the, the correct trajectory to be like right behind this barrel. And it should land right around that guy and blow him up. You're going to start priming the second grenade around here. You want to cut as close to the barrels as you possibly can without getting boosted by this explosion. Um, I probably should have gotten boosted by it, but um, I either went in between the waves or the previous boost kind of pushed me through it. Uh, so you might want to be a little bit further out. But you're going to start priming around when you're in between these two barrels. You're going to look up and you're going to throw right after you pass this line. So right when Bond is like around here is when you're going to throw the grenade. And this is not full lookup. It's like 80 degrees because if you do full lookup, it's going to basically land right on you. Um, you want it to go forward a little bit to land on top of the drone and blow it up. <laughs> now you want to be about this distance away from the wall. If you're too close, the guard in the cutout is going to run out and start shooting at you want him to actually pull an animation and um, not be able to shoot you through this wall. If you're too far out, then he's going to be able to shoot you before you get into cover. Um, the second grenade you're going to prime for the RTAP, and you're going to prime that around where this first window is, either right when the edge of your screen gets to like around here is where you're going to start priming and then when you get to around here or even like here the end of the window you're going to turn right slightly very slightly and then look up and do your R tap if you look up first you're not going to be getting closer to the battery while you're setting it up and usually your grenades are going to blow up in front of the battery so you want to do the turn first and then the look up um, when you do this uh, RTAP, if you miss, you should go see where the grenade landed. If the grenade is landing um, too far to the right or to the left, obviously you've overturned or underturned slightly. If it's blowing up in front of the battery, then you need to prime slightly later because the grenade has to go further before it explodes. Maybe you want to go to the second window. Um, if it's blowing up behind the battery, then you want to prime a little bit earlier so that way it, it blows up, you know, before it, it, it reaches too far. And you might want to go to either the edge of the building or, or slightly before that. It all depends on how fast this setup is for you. Um, some people are a little faster, some people are a little slower, so you might need to prime at a different point in order to get it to blow up in the right spot. But if you can um, get it pretty consistent, um, as long as your angle is correct, it should be blowing up like for me it was around by the time I, I actually got the time around every other Arlene was actually blowing up the the battery you're then gonna make a straight line to this hill and you're going to start priming the next grenade right when you hit this hill so like right around here you're gonna follow this line and when you are standing on top of this hill you want the bottom of your grenade to be right at the top of this drone and that's when you're going to let go. And you're going to immediately turn. So as soon as you, 
you throw it, you turn immediately. You don't want to lose any time here. You don't want to wind up going further away from the plane for any reason at all. Um, and uh, you definitely don't want to lose frames on just having a late turn. For the last grenade on the final drone, uh, you are going to start priming immediately after throwing the previous grenade. Uh, when I talked to a couple of other people, like Irie, he said that he holds down Z and taps A to throw the uh, second to last grenade, so that way he's automatically immediately priming for the last one. I actually do not do that. Um, I let go to throw the grenade and then immediately prime again after that. It offsets it by about half of a second, and for some reason I just found that that, um, that timing worked a little bit better um, on getting it to explode at the correct time when it hits the drone. When you turn, it's a, a pretty dramatic turn. Uh, it's a little bit feel. You don't want to overturn it. You don't want to underturn it. You're not really going to be able to adjust, but you are going to be able to know whether or not you're lined up. And that's after you turn and then look up, you kind of want this line in the mountains to be almost straight vertical, but you want it to be tilted a little bit this way. So you can see that it's not perfect, perfectly vertical. It's like slightly, the bottom is slightly to the right. And you're gonna look straight up and then count to three before you do the Arlene. And the other part of the mountain right here, should be almost vertical as well. Maybe even possibly slightly, the bottom should be slightly left of the top, but um, this kind of pattern you should be able to recognize pretty easily. Um, you want this to be cutting inward, and then you want this to be kind of cutting outward a little bit. And then you're gonna throw after you count to three, or you can use a visual cue of throwing about when the mountain is this far away from the edge of the, um, of the screen. You're going to do the R, uh, the R tap and then immediately turn towards the plane. Because again, if you, um, if you don't turn fast enough, you're running in the wrong direction and you're going to lose time. This guard here is probably going to charge you and back boost you a lot and turn a lot of 34s into 35s. It is what it is. Um, that kind of happened to me on my first complete, and that's why one of the reasons I got 35. And then I just had to kind of do it again for 34. Um, and that's really it. So... Um, Good luck, and um, if anybody has any questions, you can DM me on Discord.